This is going to be kind of a first look at the Borealis Echo Fat Bike. Two of my friends have just purchased these from Berkshire Bike and Board in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. It is a full carbon fiber frame built around the RockShox Blue Toe Fork. It comes in three different build kits, XO, X9, X01, and XX1. And it is very expensive. $4,000 for the lowest end, $5,100 and $6,000 for the highest end. One of my friends upgraded his wheel set to be a carbon fiber wheel set, which brought his bike up well over $6,000. His bike weighs 26 pounds, 13 ounces, with a giant carbon fiber water bottle cage and Crank Brothers kind of platformish pedals. Other than that, the bike is pretty much stock. My other friend without the carbon fiber wheel set says his bike weighs 27 pounds, which is kind of hard to believe. But anyway, let's go outside and take a look at this bike. This is going to be a first look at the Borealis Echo mountain bike. This one is the XO version. You can see that has XO components, got race face cranks, has a 1x11 drivetrain, it has the Bluto fork and 45 North tires, Husker DU, very aggressive tire. This is the first fat bike I've ever ridden It didn't feel like a tank. It feels very much like a traditional mountain bike. It rides fantastic. I didn't ride this particular bike. I rode another friend of mine. It has the same bike with different components. This guy has the carbon fiber wheels, which I believe put this bike up over $6,000 for a retail price. It's a pretty amazing bike. So as I said, I, I rode my friend's version of this bike, which is just awesome. Feels just like a regular bike. Really, really feels nice, light, fast. Got race face stuff throughout. Kind of nice little graphics. Little topo lines. Ergon seat, which I'm not familiar with. Big tire clearance here. Maximum air pressure, 30. Boy, he, he, he doesn't have much air pressure in here. That's the awesome thing with these. Being able to run so little pressure. They hook up amazing. I was out riding the other night. A friend of mine was going around corners like they weren't even slippery. And I was sliding all over the place. So it's just amazing how these fat bikes hook up. Plus last year a friend of mine was riding on top of the crust, the snow crust while the rest of us were sinking through. Just a lot of fun to ride these bikes. Very popular around here in Western Massachusetts. This is the top of the line if you really want to get the best bike you can possibly buy.